Imagine the smallest unit of life that forms the foundation of every living organism, from the tiniest bacterium to the largest blue whale. This unit is the cell. So, in this video, we'll explore the fascinating world of cells. Cells are the smallest living units of an organism. They are the structural and fundamental units of life. All cells have three things in common, no matter what type of cell they are. All cells have a plasma membrane, which separates the inside of the cell from its environment. Cytoplasm, which is a jelly-like fluid. and DNA, the cell's genetic material. The discovery of cells began in 1665, when Robert Hooke examined thin slices of cork and a compound microscope. He noticed tiny box-like structures and named them cells because they resembled small rooms. A few years later, in the 1670s, Anton van Leeuwenhoek took cell study farther. Using a more powerful microscope he built himself, he observed living cells in pond water. He called these moving organisms animalcules. And he was also the first to observe bacteria. These foundational discoveries laid the groundwork for the development of modern cell biology. The cell theory developed in the 1800s by Schwann, Schleiden, and Virchow states that all living organisms are made up of one or more cells. The cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life. All cells come from pre-existing cells. Modern additions emphasize that cells contain genetic material in form of DNA passed to the next generation. Life on Earth is incredibly diverse, but at its core, all living organisms can be divided into two groups, prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Prokaryotes are the simplest and most ancient forms of life. They are single-celled organisms. The two primary groups of prokaryotes are bacteria and archaea. On the other hand, eukaryotes include a wide variety of organisms with complex structures. They can be single-celled or multicellular organisms. Eukaryotes include animals, plants, fungi or fungi, and protists. First, let's start by looking at what prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells have in common. Both types of cells contain genetic material in the form of DNA, which carries all the information needed for the cell's functions. Inside the cell, there is a substance called cytoplasm that surrounds the organelles and serves as the site for most of the cell's activities. Another key feature shared by both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells is the presence of ribosomes. These tiny structures are essential for protein synthesis. Lastly, both cell types are surrounded by a cell membrane, or a plasma membrane, that controls material flow in and out of the cell. These common features show that both types of cells share essential functions that are crucial to life. 
Now, let's explore the key differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. First, the most obvious difference is the presence of a nucleus. Prokaryotic cells don't have a nucleus. Instead, the DNA flows freely in the cytoplasm. On the other hand, eukaryotic cells have a defined nucleus where the DNA is enclosed within a membrane. Another significant difference is in size. Prokaryotic cells are much smaller, typically ranging from 1 to 10 micrometers, while eukaryotic cells are larger, typically between 10 and 100 micrometers. When it comes to organelles, prokaryotes don't have membrane-bound organelles, meaning they lack structures like mitochondria or chloroplast. Eukaryotes, however, have these organelles which help them perform more specialized functions. In terms of reproduction, prokaryotic cells reproduce through a simple process called binary fission. Eukaryotic cells, however, use mitoses or meiosis.